Hey guys, here are my predictions for the 2017 AQA C1 exam. So, I have to point out to you that I am not an examiner. I do not know any inside secrets. I am just a teacher who's been teaching this course for years and years and you get to notice things which may just be completely in my head. So I don't know any secrets, but you need to make sure you advise everything fully. To help you with that, I've made you a free revision guide which is available over on my website. But these are things that I've picked up on recently. These are things that I'm telling my class are going to be in this year's exams. Now, I'm sure you know that you are the last year sitting this specification. And next year's specification is actually quite different in style. But what I think the examiners have started to do is to like change the style early. Even though they haven't told anyone they're doing this, they're not supposed to be doing this, I think they started to do it already. So what we've been seeing over the last few years, and what I think is gonna be a big thing in this year's paper is experiments. Um, so lots of looking at experiments, how to do experiments, you're going to get graphs which um, may be related to experiments that you haven't done in class because they didn't tell us we had to do them, or completely unexpected experiments, so unexpected data, and you're expected to look at these experiments and look at these data and maybe like suggest um, improvements or work out averages or analyse the graph. So I think this is going to be a big thing across all papers. But there are a few things that are particular to C1. Every single year, now I do say every single year, it might, go, it might be different this year, they might change it. But every single year the C1 paper started off with atomic structure. So numbers of protons, neutrons, electrons, mass number, atomic number, drawing the electron configuration of something. Also every single year, balancing equations comes up like I can't guarantee a question's going to come up, but if I was going to guarantee any question's going to come up, it's going to be balancing equations. Again, over my website I've got a maths book, a maths and chemistry book, which will help you, there's like 60 equations to balance in there. Or you can pop over to my classroom channel and there's like 60 over there as well. You have to be able to balance equations. You need this for all of your chemistry exams and especially if you want to go and do chemistry A level. They love asking about reaction conditions. So we're talking about the reaction conditions for cracking and the reaction conditions for hydrogenation. Also, they love asking tests. So testing for um, double bonds and testing for carbon dioxide. These come up so frequently. Now the tricky thing with those four things I've just mentioned is the way that they word the questions. It's not, well, not always going to be as obvious as what is the test for carbon dioxide. It could be, going back to the first point, set in an experimental context. So so-and-so does this, 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 and this. They test it with this what's going to happen. One of the possible six markers for this year is fractional distillation. This is a really, really common six mark question and didn't come up at all in last year's paper, which is why I'm picking it as one of my possible six markers. It's worth having like a standard stock answer for this that you know really, really well. Another thing that comes up quite a lot is drawing and naming things. Now this is a really, really lovely, easy question if it comes up. It's, it's great, as long as you've learnt it. And I'm not just talking about your standard, like, really, really lovely, basic alkanes. I'm talking about polymers as well. So talking about going from your monomer to your polymer and possibly going from a polymer back to a monomer. If that comes up, it's going to be hard. It's going to be one of the nasty extension A star questions. Um, I made a little A star playlist to help you out with nasty questions like that. Last year, not a lot came up on metals. So I'm talking about the reactivity series, we're talking about displacement reactions, and we're talking about extracting things. So your traditional ways of extracting things with um, smelting, using reduction, um, and your new ways of extracting things, so electrolysis, phytomining, and bioleaching. I know there's a lot to cover there, but I just have a sneaky feeling about this one. 
the new specification is very um, forward looking in the, the content that we have to teach. So this might be reflected in this year's exams as well. There might be a lot on there in alternative fuels. So we're talking about biofuels, the advantages, disadvantages, and also ethanol as a fuel. You need to know the ethical and environmental problems um, or advantages behind this and be able to write a nice solid six mark answer for this. And then lastly, two things, two whole topics that didn't come up on last year's paper. And um, once I'd worked this out, I had to go back and check because I couldn't quite believe that they'd missed two whole topics of last year's paper. So we're talking about limestone and rocks. Now this is falling off the specification. We do not have to teach this, or I don't have to teach this ever, ever again, um, because it's not in the new specification. So I think the examiner's if I was an examiner, I would have a touch of nostalgia for this because I quite like this topic, I quite like the experiments in it, and I would potentially make this a six mark question. The other thing that didn't come up in last year was um, the earth and the atmosphere. And then this covers quite a lot of things. The evolutionary atmosphere, the modern day atmosphere, tectonic plates, how they move, and the theory of Pangaea and everything to do with that. But it didn't come up in last year's paper. And it is really, really, weird that they miss stuff out. The fact they miss two whole topics out is, well, it's just odd, but frankly, it's just weird that they missed two whole topics out. So I think they might be big things in this year's paper. But remember guys, I don't know anything. I do not know any secrets. Um, this is just me looking at stuff. This is just me thinking about stuff. Um, I could be completely wrong. If you want to check the accuracy of my predictions, you can go and look at my 2016 predictions, go and look at the actual 2016 papers and compare them. Sometimes I was right, sometimes I was wrong. Good luck guys.